Hi, this is Mr. B, and I just wanted to make a short video to show you how to use voice typing in Google Docs to make your writing experience a little bit easier. So let's go to a Google Doc, and here's your first little pro tip. Did you know that you could get there really easily if you type docs.new, and boom, it automatically opens a new untitled document with a blank page, and it's ready to go. So you can type on it if you'd like and write your paper just the old-fashioned way. I'm an okay typist, but there's also a way to make Google Docs type for you. If you go up here to Tools and you go down, there's a little microphone that says Voice Typing. And there's a keyboard shortcut here if you are on a Mac and you care. It's Command Shift S. I'm just going to click it and you get this microphone. It's grayed out when it's not recording and it's red when it is recording and it says click to speak. So if I were to click it, you give it permission, sure. So now it's actually listening to what I'm saying, period. And as you just saw, or heard rather, comma, I can also dictate into it what punctuation I want in addition to the words that I want it to write. Period. New paragraph. So the plus side of this is that if it's hard for you to write or maybe you're a slow typist or maybe you just don't feel like it, voice typing actually does a really good job of capturing your words and doing it quickly and it's good if you have a lot of ideas and you just want to get them out there. Then afterwards you can take the time to go back, edit, spell check, change whatever you need, and you don't have to worry about the actual getting of the ideas out on the page. It's very smooth and very quick, period. Google actually does a really good job overall of not only hearing the words, but hearing them pretty accurately, period. So if I shut this off now, it says you can say period in new line. Got it. So anywhere you have this gray underlining, it's asking you if that's, if it, did I, did Google hear what you were actually saying? Now it's actually listening. Yes, that's fine. Dictate into it. So this is not what I said. Maybe you're slow type S. I don't even know what that means. You're a slow. And so I'm clicking with two fingers at the same time on the trackpad. I do not mean typist. No, I don't. I mean typist. Okay, and you can actually get it to do several things. If I hover over this and I click the question mark and go to help, hover over that search bar, it walks you through exactly how to do it. For example, you can add punctuation. You could add these different types of punctuation period, comma, exclamation point, question mark, new line, new paragraph. And hypothetically, at least, you can use voice commands to select text, and apparently it understands all of those. You can use it to format your document, and you can use it even to edit your document. I've had very mixed results um, with the selecting text commands. I haven't really tried format your document or edit your document. Feel free to experiment with that and leave comments in the comments below this video about how you found it. Did you find it easy? Did it work for you? It didn't particularly work well for me. But you can get the ideas down really easily. So hopefully this is helpful and thanks for watching.